Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about creating pages in Jekyll. Now, when you're creating your Jekyll blog, you're going to have two types of web pages in your website. You're going to have uh, blog posts, which are more commonly referred to as posts, and then you're also just going to have general pages. So, a page on your website might be, for example, an about page. And I'm over here on this like default Jekyll website. And you'll see here we have this about page on our website, right? So this is just forward slash about, and it's you know just giving us information about this website. This is a perfect example of a page. So this isn't a blog post, right? This about, it's not one of the blog posts on our website. It's not showing up inside of this post section right here. But it, nonetheless, it is a page on our website. So you might have like an about page, Maybe you'll have like a contact me page or like a, a donations page if you're building a, a certain type of website. Basically just pages on your website that aren't blogs. So I want to talk to you about how we can create pages like that. And it's actually really easy. So let's take this about page as our example. The about page is actually just right here in the root directory of our project. So it's right here at the root directory of this GA blog folder. And you'll see that it's just a normal markdown file. So it's about.md and it has some information in here and then it also has some front matter. So that's basically all you need to do to create a page is just make a new file, either like a markdown file or an HTML file, add in some front matter and then add in your content and it'll show up on your website. Let's create our own page. So I'm gonna make a new file and let's say that we wanted to make a, like a, a donations page on our website. So I'll just name this donate.md. So this will be a markdown file and in here, the first thing we wanna do is add in some YAML front matter. So I'm just gonna add in like that. And I wanna give this one YAML attribute by default. So I'm just gonna call it layout. And we're gonna define the layout that we wanna use for this page. Now, if you're writing a blog post, normally you would use this post layout. But in our case, you're just gonna use uh, this page layout. And this will just display it as uh, a normal page. I could also put like, title or date in here, but I'm not going to do that for now. Um, and so now we can just put like, you know, donate to our site, whatever. And so the way that I can access this is just by going to uh, this in our as a URL. So I'll just do forward slash donate and that'll bring me to this donate page right here. And so unlike blog posts, these types of pages don't have like titles or dates by default. So let's add in a title. We'll just call it donate. And now that'll update on our site. So that's really all you need to do to create a page in Jekyll. And you can actually also create like pages inside of folders. So I'm going to make a new folder. We'll call it dir1. And I could store this donate page inside of dir1. So now instead of forward slash donate, we're going to have to go to forward slash dir1 forward slash donate in order to access this page. So if you're familiar with creating web pages on like a normal website, it's basically the same thing. So you just create files for these pages, you add in some front matter, and then you can add in your content and it should automatically show up on your website at the appropriate URL. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.